old day in Castleford. Wow. Okay guys, so first thing you notice when you get here is there's been a lot of busy shovels here. Jeez, look at that. Okay, it looks deserted at the minute, but uh, the plan is today to do as little riding as possible for me. Uh, and film some of these locals on their local runs. Uh, first thing you notice is there's just little berms and turns and twists and jumps everywhere. A lot of work gone into this place. Uh, some blistered shoveling hands, no doubt, but even though the idea is to do as little riding as possible, looking at it, I can't resist just having a little spin down some of these tracks. Uh, okay, so I just have a little cruise down. So slipping out. That's not bad this time. Try to stay high on the bar. Look, flick out me onto that one. Okay. Little gap on the end of this one that I seem to remember jumping last time. Follow this one back up. So tight, so tight, whoa! Whoa, a little back end slip, that was treacherous! Look at this barging girls. Someone's even taking the time to dig some steps in because look, the soil is like clay soil. Slippy slidey. So oh, thank you to the step builders. Okay, so I guess one of the big challenges with a place like this is balancing it with the community. And I can see everywhere the signs, please keep your dogs on the lead. Warning signs about helmets. Uh, letting people know that it's a mountain bike track. To be honest, it's quite obvious it's a mountain bike track when you track when you see the work that's gone into it. But still respect for the community and of course dog walkers, other walkers who are out there. Uh, I'll be interested to see uh, when hopefully we'll meet Aidy today uh, what the reaction is from the community and what kind of support or indeed uh, lack of support that it gets from uh, the neighbouring uh, the neighbouring community so we'll find out hopefully Morning ladies Morning. Morning. Can I trouble you for two minutes? I'm just making a little film about the woods yeah. do you, First of all do you mind starring in it for a little ten second <laughs> comment? <laughs> Oh, to be a pain, can I trouble you for two seconds? I'm just um, making a, a film, I make a film every week, but I'm just making one about Queen's Park Woods. Um, and I'm just wondering what the community's viewpoint was on mountain bikers using the woods. The paths that we used to get through, yeah. they've trashed them. Get through anymore. You can't, well, you can, but it's, it's dangerous. Yeah. I don't know that. They don't seem to go in. No. It seems as if they're packed in going in. Right. You know, that wood was full. I mean, they could, the have, left ordinary... mm. they could have left ordinary paths going through. Yeah. Why has there been an ordinary path that's not in there anymore been, now? Yeah, 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 the, yeah it's the all been dashed up and dug all over. Ah, there. right. This, um, somebody um, tell yeah. me it won't have any places within a fair distance yeah. where. There was as much wild garlic as oh, there was there it, were in there. It used to oh, be beautiful. Loads and loads of wild garlic. Bluebell. <laughs> Mountain ice. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's odd ones. I mean, they haven't gone completely. No, no. But, but yeah, no, we've got to try. There's got to try and be a balance, aren't there? Chop trees down. Like Chop trees down. Ah, that were a bit of a. But I, I didn't like yeah. that. They said they were chopping old trees, dead trees, but you'll look at some of them stumps in there, not dead trees. Right. No, it's a shame, isn't it? Because there's a, you know, on the other side, there's a, on the other side, there's a lot of work obviously gone into it. So it's a sh yeah. Is there a local? Is there like a local group where you can voice your, you know, you can go on on Facebook or something like that, and you can, you know, try and try and speak to the people who. We never knew who owned it. No. Queen's Park, but nobody seems to know who actually owns it. Ah, right. No, but even communicate with the guys who are, who are building the tracks or using the tracks. I think they keep a low profile, mate. I mean, where did the authorisation come from to do it? 
I don't know. I mean, your other argument there as well is, you know, like to try and actually keep the kids, young kids into something and get them exercising, even the adults looking after their mental health and stuff by coming out and exercising. If they'd have done it all at one end, yep. they could have even had a bigger one than what they've got now. Right. But they haven't. Thank you so much for talking to me. No. Have a lovely day, guys. Now then, guys. You all right? Yeah, good, thank you. It's slippy today, isn't it? Yeah. Is any one of these guys here? No, he just come up soon. Oh, is he? We've just been talking to the locals. Apparently, they used to walk through here and then found about some trees being cut down that apparently weren't old trees. I presented mountain bikers' argument. Obviously, these youngsters and us oldies want to go somewhere looking after mental health. Yeah, massive thing, doing exercise, keeping youngsters away from going out burgling, vandalising, whatever. But what, what do you say about, uh, what do you say about the, well, the trees and the paths? I'm one of the main builders. Hi, yeah, what's your name, sorry? Stephen. Steve, nice one, Steve. Yeah, a lot of work, man, a lot of work. Well done, you guys. Yeah, well, for starters, right back, years before anyone touched this, this yeah. used to be a motocross track. Ah, right, okay. And then this was abandoned. This was a council dumping ground. If you look further up there, there's a load of rubbish and yeah. cement. And I took out probably five or six carfuls, I mean, to the roof, to the floor of rubbish. Yeah. So we've cleaned and maintained this place so they can walk through. We don't stop them. Yeah. We put signs up if you see them. I've seen all the work you've done with the signs and everything, yeah. man. Yeah, it's spot on. To be fair, guys, it looks like modern art to me. Do you know what I mean? All I'm seeing when I'm looking at this is, one, obviously, as a mountain biker, I'm loving it. Uh, but secondly, you know, I can see how many hours, and I'm crushing the berm here, yeah? How many hours of hard work and uh, blisters I've gone into digging it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, but with, the, with the tree situation, we asked the council oh, for some help, and but they, they refused. They said this is no one's land. Right. Uh, it's not our problem. So we took it on our own to get rid of the dead trees and um, we literally did if we went up to it and pushed it and it started cracking yep we, we moved it away yeah we cleaned it up and then unfortunately uh some of the neighbor some of the people that live down there didn't like that idea and uh we told them we're making it safe for you as well to walk through yep and for us to ride yeah because no one wants a tree falling on them no and, well because uh, we got someone who knows how to fall trees in so all the cuts for the dead trees were cut slapped properly right I, I just wanted to help them clean this place up for everyone yeah that's it and, and it's then, you know the, the thing that i've noticed about it steve yeah from the facebook and stuff and to be honest guys i've only been here once before a couple of years ago um it's the like the sense of community that you've got going on and you know you touched upon mental health and that for me is massive endorphins for exercise you know making yourself um getting yourself that free dopamine hit by coming out and doing some exercise and chatting with the guys you know what i mean yeah, yeah. chatting with are you a chatter yeah you, uh, you a chatter do you keep your feelings pent up or or do you talk to your bros oh no yeah. he definitely talks to everyone that's it man and that's what you need to do you know what i mean and that's what that's what this place is all about so which is the main track guys main probably main line the one there. It goes to that jump there. Yeah, this one, what we're fixing up at the moment, is called Grandad's line. Oh, this Grandad, one. that should be my line. <laughs> yeah. This is one of their first lines they've built. Is it? Yeah. Hey, uh, AD's the main guy. Yep. He'll be out soon. Oh, here he comes. Oh, it's going to go. I might get him on before the battery goes. Right. Now then, AD. How are you, mate? All right, brother. Oh. Plenty of conversations, but... No meat up until this point. How are you doing? Yeah, good man. Yeah, man. Just been introduced to your uh, brobies here, man. I was just telling me a little bit about the history. Yeah, man. It's uh, going on well, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. New pads? Yeah, yeah. It's looking clean, man. It's looking almost like brand new. I'm sure it won't be in about two minutes. Oh, no, definitely not. Right, clear. Oh, no, that's Let's see you in action down this main line. Steady away, mate, is my motto. So, want to see some skills, but take care, brother. This is Claire dropping in. Oh, yes. Now, that's how it should be done. Nice. Oh, lovely. Sweet. Oh, he's motoring. Oh, jeez. Oh, permission for landing, please. Eh? Guys. He had some wings on then, didn't he? Yeah. Jeez. 
Oh no! Oh. I it. <laughs> Still looks alright to me. What are we going for? Suicide the lander? Just watch these kids in awe, really. Big kahunas. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's high. Listen, mate, don't you worry. I'm impressed with the height. Coming soon, Your turn. On Your turn. Ah, I can't ride. <laughs> Did he? 360 on there? 360 on that table, mate. Oh, wow. <laughs> guys, just tell us a little bit about what this place means to you guys in terms of uh, you hanging out here and stuff. It's like escape from reality, really. It's crazy, yeah? Yeah, it's crazy. It's okay, isn't it? Five next way, isn't it? <laughs> Woo! Oh, Jesus, it's slippy. Bloody hell. He'll have disappeared out of shot. He went that high, <laughs> didn't he? Are we having a go, Henry? What? Oh, he's too shy for camera, man. Yeah. He's too shy for camera. Up, oh, too low, too low. Nearly at the trees. Oh. Right, Bloody hell, it is slippy. Yeah, I'm sound, mate. Do I need to go higher? Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, I feel like I've trashed all your work here, guys. Say again, Clay. Did you feel that as well? <laughs> right, we're following in Henry. Dropping in. Local shredder. Trying to keep up with him already. Look at him, he's off. Oh yes! Oh, he's off! I mean, wrong gear! Nice! Oh, he's so slippy! We can't stop! Jesus, I went wrong gear when I set off. Nice, that mate, you were flying down that first bit. I couldn't even keep up with you. Right, clear, local shredder. Pinch me GoPro. Give me back. <laughs> So that's clear local rider, a uh, youngster, treating us to some of his skills. Um, just done the same line that I did, driving Miss Daisy style on, so obviously you should be able to see the contrast between those two. Uh, and then the boys have also given me a lesson in uh, burn building as well, because uh, obviously there's a lot of hard work goes into this place. Clay, nice riding. Yeah, nice Looking day, forward yeah. to editing your clips in there, yeah, mate. Man. Nice one. Steve, thank you for the coaching, yeah, manly man. AD. Good nice one mate yeah good well. to finally meet you guys loving what you're doing guys i know it's difficult we're not always going to be able to keep the community happy uh, hopefully we'll put across uh, your point of view as well guys um and hopefully they'll understand that this is a place for people to exercise look after the old mental health and uh, stay out of trouble unless you consider trouble landing flat on your ass like i have done today Woo. <laughs>